thoughts on China's new AI rules? What are, what are the rules? What are the new rules? Uh, so there was a there was something I think that Gaijin had posted with it. Yeah, um, I'll just talking it a little bit. Yeah, um, and I would say, you know, at least in part, I do think that there's value in us thinking about the the various regulations that should be put in place with AI. Right? There's the the UN has already at least had preliminary discussions on um, AI. Um, weapons in war and like how we as a as a global society will will kind of regulate that and stuff so i think it's good that we're we're at least talking about it i'm not a huge fan of the fact that it's the ccp that's stepping out front first but um, i don't think you can regulate this thing so i think it's one of those things where yeah ultimately you're not going to be able to to have the control on it the handle on it that you um you may want um but i think it's good that we at, at the very least have some safeguards in place right i mean you're not going to be able to stop people from making deep fakes you're not going to be able to stop people from um you know making ai art or ai ai journalism or poetry or whatever you're not going to be able to stop that um, but I think I think it's valuable to at least have some things in place in case so that if there is somebody using these materials to uh, do particularly harmful things, you have some sort of, you know, system in place to, to hold them accountable. Like if somebody's just spreading a, a whole crap ton of AI misinformation and it's just like fake videos of, you know, I don't know, name a person that's at the head of a global conspiracy type thing, you know, um, but uh yeah, I, I think ultimately it's it's something that you can't, you know. This is the once the cat's out of the bag, it's not going really. It's not going back in. So there's no way you could regulate this. I don't know. They they have a. I I think they have a decent idea with with the whole concept of like the watermarks and stuff. I don't know how that's going to completely translate through, um, but I think. Um, I, I do think again there's at least some things that I saw in here that were like okay I feel like that's that's you know at least kind of worth continuing to look at um again you know of all the of all the governments in the world that stepped out in the front with this I'm not excited that it's it's the CCP it's, yeah yeah so so it'd be like like if if Vladimir Putin came out tomorrow and was just like hey we're just gonna put all these rules in place for like ai weapons or you know i'd be like oh i guess that's good but also i wish it was something. what do you think the solution is to support artists if you can't if there's no way to stop this so i don't know and and it it's possible that the that the it's possible that the system that we're in now is a completely different landscape for making money through art right it's possible that we're we're no longer in a space where we were many years ago where um, somebody does just have the ability to create something entirely from their brain, their imagination, and put it out there to the world and receive financial compensation for the ability of others to access and view that art. We might just be in a boat now where that's not really feasible. And the way that you have to, um, the way that you have to you know, recoup your financial investment as an artist is not solely through um, selling your art. Now, what exactly that looks like, I don't know, but that's, the, you know. The amazing thing is that we we assume that AI is going to replace a lot of jobs, uh -huh. but some jobs are safe, mm -hmm. and we guessed that those jobs are safe are the creative ones, Yeah, right? We thought that art is and journalism the last one to go uh-huh right yeah and it, but apparently we were so wrong it seems yeah. to be the first one to go yeah and it's we're about to lose we're probably yeah. about to lose not only uh journalists but also like sports commentators and just a whole swath of because they they've already shown how successful these programs in their earliest of stages are at at like answering questions on the fly and stuff like this and Right. And they they do provide really accurate information, and they're able to they're able to do it with you know uh, a greater speed and and 
greater accuracy because they literally can just be connected to the internet you know asian american uh, is engaged, uh, nursing and doctors are maybe maybe the last to go maybe Actually, but nursing maybe doctors no that's okay. what i was gonna say you could have the ai figure out what the problem but, is and just have a human being administer the actual treatment like and actually we have yeah. shown studies that there are ai that do surgeries with less mistakes and yes, cleaner cuts yes. than doctors right so ai can um, recognize the Mm -hmm. disease much like the sickness much better than doctors and it can even do surgery better than doctors the mm -hmm. reason why nursing is safer than being a doctor is because that human connection i think that ai is missing right mm -hmm. like you i think the jobs that might be safest are the jobs that require like people want a human yes. touch specifically want yes. a human touch right yes so elderly care child care nursing uh maybe streamers actually maybe because people the reason why people watch streamers maybe i don't know actually. yeah yeah no i know uh, i agree though i mean i think it's there is and that, that's people don't watch the news for people don't watch streaming just for the news they are right. like they, for the personality for the pers of the individual. for the personality right. of the individual and that's kind of so, why i was saying like maybe there's another way that you as an artist or a creative type monetize you know your the time that you're giving just like various streamers do right where they technically mm -hmm. put out content they put out you know pre-recorded videos and edited videos but they aren't actually making any money off of those videos. All the money comes from individuals going through Patreon or going through, you know, whatever other thing. Right. So, yeah, maybe it just maybe it just has to evolve. And maybe maybe that's just the, the boat that we're in, you know, fortunately or unfortunately. I mean, but yeah, literally every one of the uh, 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 categories out there that people were like, don't worry, artificial intelligence won't take your jobs. It's like we've already shown in every single one of those sectors. Yes, they actually will. Because retail was a big one. People thought, oh, no, people have to we have to have human beings at a grocery store, you know, and then we started putting robots in some and people liked it better and sales went up. So, <laughs> so you know, this could be a good thing if all jobs are taken okay if some jobs are taken that's bad for those people okay mm -hmm. but if all jobs are taken yeah. then we're actually kind of fine because you don't even need a job right because ai right. is like everything will be dirt cheap anyways so right. I, we, I mean if ai takes every job then everything would not even be cheap it would be free yeah <laughs> at yeah. that because what would be what would be the what, what would be the purpose of trading money right like right. why would we at that point it would now be I mean, so abundant. most likely, the way that it's going to turn out is that the individuals who are in power right now, with a bunch of money and the the ability to institute these types of you know technologies in their um, right uh, in their in oh. their businesses, like those people will control the the use of AI and stuff. And but you know whatever. I mean, I think eventually we'll all probably be jobless, but. We just Ooh. got a 20 uh, speaking of money Lily Page LA just gave us $20 super chat. Well, thank thank, you. thank you so much. Thank you so much for the support. Um okay, by the way, uh given so how so many people seem to be hating AI art in the live chat. <laughs> do you want to see some AI art? Yeah, of course. I have okay, seen okay. some and it's and it's really good. Some of it's really okay. weird, but well, speaking of weird, this is me as a goat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I really like I really like that you you have your shirt still, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. But then you've got like what looks like a jacket with like sheep wool on it. <laughs> like, it's like, <laughs> oh, sheep! Yes, it's this is me as a, sh a sheep. Yes, <laughs> lamb so of God. Good. That's so good. Oh my God, <laughs> okay. I love that. I love that. <laughs> uh because wait what well, yeah this is a this is ai art this is me as a sheep okay, okay. and i have more actually if you want and it really got um, the hair well man it really got that <laughs> right. really did a good job this is me <laughs> as the devil oh man <laughs> <laughs> yeah but have you seen this i posted these on facebook you didn't see them yeah no, i i saw yeah. um on the news i saw oh, them on okay. the news but um I was listening more than I was watching. So, 
Well, this is me as I don't know what. Probably a chipmunk. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your eyes. I'm so sad. I don't know do why I'm so sad. Do you sad. have two sets of ears there? Do you have ears on the top? <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're right. I oh have God. two sets of ears. <laughs> I, I I think I really need like a peanut or something because it's very sad right now. Wait, I have more. Um, this is me as a queen. Nice. You look very good, right. honestly. Right. So you that's my feminine good. version of me. And here's a more masculine version of me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should have been fighting the lion. <laughs> yeah, look, AI do, does these in like like so, I love um, in minutes incredible. actually. Yeah. And That's here's a uh, here's my the old me, old version of me. I'm actually oh, happy look, with this one. You look yeah. good. Yeah. You look yeah. Good yeah. I, li I like yeah. the old me. Yeah. 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 You look good, man. Yeah. You look you look like you're. Um, like you're deep in thought, you know, like you're, yeah. you're deeply studying like some new verses from the Quran that we just discovered or something, you know, like. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I look like I'm in a lab. Oh, I think this is the, I got a $2 super chat for Ooh. the, I think for the satanic version of it. Nice. But well, I really like this one because um, I can see myself how, as an old person and I'm yeah. comfortable with it. So yeah, nice. not bad. Not bad. Nice. And yeah. let me close all these are. Right. I don't know. People say you can't even call it art, but I don't know what you. Call I, don't, it. I don't know. I mean, yeah. Like, what do you, what do you call art? You know, it's a, a guy a guy t duct taped a banana to a wall once, and and that, that was art. So I don't yeah. know what's art. Yeah, like I, I know it's a dumb question, but like, you know. So uh, so some people are saying art is communication between humans, right? Like a human communicating with another human through so animals the can't medium. make art. Is it is a beaver dam not huh. artistic? Could it could it not be? Could somebody not is watch he, the dance of a bird and say to, that's artistic? Well, no, no, because are they trying to communicate? Well, that's to what I'm us? saying. That's what so I'm saying. No. I think I think so that some definition people saying, of art is problematic. I think okay, well, that's what they're saying. I'm not saying if it's yeah, right. Yeah. So they're saying AI is this is not art because nobody, not. there's no communication happening between the artist and the so. I don't know. So I, don't know. I, I I think I think art is, I mean, it's it's a bad definition. I, I I don't disagree, but I think art is one of those things where it's just like, if you find it artistic, you find it artistic, and and that's just the way. It, if you find it, if you if you look at something and it's pretty to you. Like there was a there was it a was whole in, yeah whole I mean there's this, no 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 so there's one it's one thing to find it pretty it's another thing to find it art because it was not meant to be art that's what they're saying oh there has to be an intention component you think there has to be this this in, intention yeah. of making something as art hmm so Zagras is saying the person who wrote the algorithm. That's the intended. art of it. Hmm. That's the art. Okay. See, I don't know. I think. But now you, the, the algorithm if, of AI is now also being written by AI. So yeah, I don't know and about if that. and if you oh. if you plug in information to the algorithm that then spits out an image, I would say that's art. I would say that's art, right? Right. Like because right. you show that to other people, at that point, it's like, uh, yeah, that seems that seems arty to me, right? I mean, I'm not. <laughs> I'm definitely not an expert on like fine art, so <laughs> you can see you can see right. what I've got. So. Well, I mean, that, there, there's a cow there, so that's good. Cool. Stained glass yeah. cow. So no yes. <laughs> so Lilypad LA, th thank you for the ten dollars super chat. Uh, very generous today. Thank you so much. We actually need the support, so thank you. Uh, saying an artist friend of mine said that uh, said this new software uses real artists' uh, work as base material to feed into the AI and without compensation. Right, so that's the main contention people have with this AI, but some the people who are defending it, they say um, even in real world, even with that AI, if the, if the work is transformative enough, is that what the word is? Mm -hmm. Then yeah. they, that is accepted as, like you don't compensate the artist. So for example, if you take a whole bunch of art and mix it together and create an art of artists, right? Even you, even though you use other people's art, uh, legally it's been transformative enough for you, 
for that to be a new original work, right? So they say, given that how that is allowed before AI, this AI generated art is also transformative enough mm -hmm. for it to, even though it's using other people's art, for it to not be legally questionable. Yeah. Morally, I don't know, but they think legally well, it is. Yeah, and I, I and I think that the difference is, in part, the fact that the algorithm, one of the things that it has to do in order to work, right, is that it has to collect lots and lots of different examples. So like when we train an algorithm to, to um, you know, play a game, right, one of the things that it has to do is it has to just try playing the game in a bunch of different ways to try out different you know, uh, moves and different pathways of, of winning and so forth. And so one of the ways that you train AI when it comes to pictures is just by showing it pictures. Um, and yeah, I, I, I mean, I understand like, well, they should be compensated for, for their work. Yes, I I'm with that. But again, like I said, at the beginning, we may just be in a space now where this type of, of, um, this type of content, this type of creative work just isn't going to be able to be monetized in the same way. This is a big problem that that all all media has had over the last 20 years. You know, that that that's why we had the huge case about Napster 20 years ago, you know. Um, so, you know, I don't know. It's it's tough. It's tough to know exactly how to navigate this space because, yeah, it does kind of feel like, you know, artists are getting screwed. Um, but are artists getting screwed with streaming services? Well, a lot of people would argue yes. A lot of people would say no, they kind of figured all that out and it's better now. A lot of people would say no, they were never being screwed. More people are accessing their art and the way that they actually make their money is by going on tour. Other people would say no, tours lose money. It's, so I, I don't know. It's not easy to be somebody who makes all your money from creating art or poetry or anything. So, Right. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.